Welcome back to my channel. Miss Peggy here, all the way from North Texas, from my house to your house. So I hope y'all are doing good today. Um, you know, um, Miss Peggy didn't go penny shopping this week. Um, I have had a sinus headache for five days. I have taken Zizel's every day for six days. And finally, my headache broke. Um, mostly early, early this morning, four or five o'clock in the morning. It, it started getting less and less, like um, the fifth day I took the sinus medicine, but um, it didn't really break until early this morning, and I just have not felt like going because if y'all have ever had sinusitis, it's terrible, especially whenever it gets to that infected stage to where you're not draining. But anyway, I'm better now. My headache's gone. I'm still dealing with sinusitis, but the headache part is gone. And that headache part, man, it just keeps me down. So, um, plus when I don't feel good, my body knows it and my blood pressure goes up some. It's really strange, but uh, yeah, when you're feeling under the weather, your blood pressure will show it. So anyway, um, <sighs> today I went, where'd I go? I went um, to the doctor. I had to go to the dentist. That's right. At 12 o'clock, I had to go to the dentist today. Now, y'all know I've been trying to get my teeth cleaned and get this chipped tooth fixed almost since January. And, um, you know, I have to go through Medicare, and Medicare has approved it. But the third visit to the dentist, now I still ain't got it fixed. So I got another appointment next week. And, um, we should be able to measure the tooth and get ready for the cap and get my teeth clean. So there's been some confusion between the dentist and what the Medicare pays for, just getting your teeth clean. But anyway, I'm done with that, man. It's like, whew, I just don't need that kind of headache, but I do need my teeth cleaned. But anyway, um, you know, um, I've been ordering some stuff on Timu, and I want to tell you, uh, I'm finding that a lot of their stuff's top quality, and uh, and I'm going to tell you, you know, I've been buying the jewelry, and I've been trying to stick to the stainless steel because, you know, stainless steel is what your silverware is made out of and your sink faucets and stuff, and they don't tarnish. So, um, yeah, now I, I've got two that did tarnish, and um uh, one of them didn't even take 24 hours to start tarnishing. <laughs> Just needed exposure to the air. Boy, it was jumping on that tarnish. But anyway, um, these three, the butterfly one, now I love that ring, and it really sets up, and it's good. This turquoise one, it's got the little leaf on the side, and then this band one that's got the little diamonds through the center. These three stainless steel rings have not tarnished. And I've been wearing them 24-7. I even took a bath in them, washed my hands in them, um, took a bath in them just so that I would expose them to water, expose them to air so I could see if they were going to tarnish. Now, also, I've got these two necklaces. I've been wearing them. I've been sleeping in them. I've been bathing in them. Now, this one right here. Now, I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me see if I can get up there. It's the one I got with that little turquoise, two turquoise stones in them, and it has not tarnished. The necklace chain has not tarnished. And um, this little cross necklace, I love that. Isn't that pretty? That's a real pretty necklace. So, uh, yeah. So, I, I, I haven't been wearing this necklace, so I'm not sure about that. But I am saying these three rings and this necklace that I just showed you. Now, this is a 20-inch chain. Now, the chain comes with the pendant. And I haven't had to buy a pendant without a chain yet. But anyway, I mean, that turquoise matches my shirt. I think it looks great with my shirt. I got Now, these earrings, I got these earrings at the Dollar General uh, a couple years ago. But anyway, I got another order from Timu. But, you know, I have to stay on a budget. And, um, <coughs> I only got a little bit to spend. So, I got this package. It's a small package. But in this package, there should only be three items. And, um, let 
No, this one. This one should only be three items. It's this one should be seven items because it's jewelry. So which one do we want to open first? Flip, flip, flip. Let's go for the big one. You always want to open the big presents first, right? So let's go ahead and do this one. This one has three items in it. And I can kind of feel the items. And I can tell. Now one of them is a mystery. That feels like it's missing. But anyway, it's supposed to only be two items in here. And one of them feels like my water bottle. I ordered a water bottle that has the measurements on it so I know how much water I'm drinking. Because sometimes I think my sinus headaches are caused from me being dehydrated. So I got this just so I could kind of see how much water I'm drinking with a measurement. And the other one is a wireless security camera. Now the water bottle I paid $2.39 for. Now, that's not bad for a water bottle. I mean, it's not big, but, you know, I'm not going to sit down and drink a half a gallon of water in a few hours, so I don't need a big bottle. And I'm not going camping or, you know, somewhere I need to take water. But anyway, then the wireless speak, the wireless security camera is a security camera that I can uh, download an app for and use my phone. And, um... Uh, it's motion detected. And I read all the reviews on them. They had several of them to choose from, from different vendors. I, I read each one of them, went down to the description, into the comments, and I read the one that said it has the best clarity, had the best picture, they were the most happy about, is the security camera I got. Now I think that's why I paid $8 for it, and 61 cents because the others didn't have as good a review on it. This one did. So uh, I have a jewelry mix mystery box that's supposed to be in here, but I don't think it is. This feels more like a light bulb package and maybe some jewelry in the bottom. So this might have some back order stuff in it and it might even have, um, Might have something else in it. I don't know. I, I watch Timu videos a lot. And sometimes people say they just sent them two items. They only ordered one. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, $13.98. So let's get into this so we can see what they look like. More cheap stuff from China. Cheap stuff from China. We buy cheap stuff from China because we can. Oh yeah, that's what's in here. Just off the look, it looks like a medicine bottle in there, don't it? <laughs> but it's not, it's that drinking bottle. Now look how little this is. But I'll tell you what, in, um, I don't know, but this bottle looks small enough that it says drink from one line to the next line, which would be from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. But I don't know about you, but that looks like a shot. And I don't know about you, but I think I need more water than that in an, in an hour. Seven, eight, nine, two hours. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to fill it up, and we're going to just see... How much water do you drink? But I'm, I'm fixing to work on a, a review. Now, you know I can't put water in here and drink this, but um, yeah. Uh, it's a really nice bottle. It has a really solid lid on it. This doesn't even feel like it's going to crack. Uh, it's a real nice ribbon on there. It's got the, uh, I don't know what that does. Just part of the lid, I guess, so they could put that strap on it. And then the water bottle is really pretty. I mean, look at that water bottle. And it has all those measurements. Let's turn it around here where you can see. What you're supposed to drink from 7 to the afternoon to the evening. But, um, yeah. So I'm questioning this because they do have these same bottles. They're bigger around. So I, I bought the one that was the cheapest. And that's probably why it's small because the more you pay, the bigger it's gonna be. So um, 
Yeah, this water bottle was two dollars and thirty nine cents. And I'll tell you what, um, I'll put water in it and throw it in my car and if I get thirsty, I'll pull it up and get me a drink while I'm out penny shopping. Or wherever I'm going. But that's pretty, I like that. So we'll find out and I'll tell you next week or so I'm gonna do a review on what I did get from T Moo. Because I've got some stuff that I really love. And then I got some stuff that, you know, only three items that's kind of questionable. But, um, yeah. Okay, this is a smart camera. Um, Wi-Fi smart camera. Look at that. It looks just like a light bulb. There's a picture of it right there. So, best I could tell is you just screw it into the light fixture. Uh, the outside doesn't say, so let's open it and see. Look at that. So I'm gonna have to read the directions and figure out how to operate it and um, see what I need to do. Cause I don't know. Oh, dummy, dummy, just take that off of it. Oh, I see, this is like if you wanna install this in the ceiling, then you can just screw in the light bulb. This is a, a light fixture. I didn't recognize this. I didn't know what the heck it was, but I thought it was part of the light, but I knew I could wire it. I've, I've been wiring stuff in this house since I was 32 for sure. And uh, yeah, take out my front porch light bulb and plug this in. And um, it looks like it's got, I don't know, some kind of a something there. I don't know what that's for, but Anyway, I'm going to be reading on it, and I'm going to be putting this on my front porch because I have had a couple situations that somebody was asking me if I, if I saw anything. And I was like, no. Oh. Um, we even had a, a cat situation that the way it died was questionable to the people across the street. So I was like, man, I wish I had a camera. That's what made me start looking at them. So, yeah, so... Um, I'm anxious about that Wi-Fi thing because, I mean, I can use it with my camera, I mean, my phone. I can use it uh, with my PC or your tabletop computer. Oh, man. I put the, some more jewelry in here, and I did not order any jewelry on here, so... I did order these because I recognize... Um, what I ordered, but I don't think they belong to this order. But um, they don't even belong to the next order. So I'm gonna have to look at my order and figure out what these go to. But let's open it and look, because one of these I got from my friend. If I can figure out how to get into it. There it is, I feel it. I knew there was a flap on it, I couldn't find it. But anyway, they got all that jewelry packed in there. There's at least three or four things in there. This comes in this pack. Okay. This is the one I got my for my friend, and I, I don't think she watches my videos, so. I'm gonna leave this out a few days and make sure it don't tarnish because I did order stainless steel. I just don't know what size finger she wears. Isn't that cute? Looks like a little chihuahua. But I think this must be like a size 10 or 12 
Let's see what it says. It is a 10. But, yeah, I did not order no Chihuahua. And I definitely don't know nobody wears a size 10. So I'm really not thinking that I didn't order this. You know, sometimes teammate just throws you in stuff. It's like, give them a bonus. Throw stuff in. You know. If you ever watch those ladies that uh, do those crystal, and they just put buckets of crystals in there, and they, hey, give her another scoop. I think that's what they do on their jewelry. Okay, yeah, I did not order this either, so this is really cute. Look at this. <laughs> it's a little owl. An owl ring. And this one is also like a, what I did with the little sack. It doesn't say what size this one is, but it is a little owl ring. And it it is kind of gold and silver. So I'm gonna put it back in here. Now, any of this jewelry, I also, before I sell it in my yard sale, I'm going to set it out and make sure it don't turn green or anything because I don't want to sell something to somebody that's going to turn green, especially if I'm going to charge them more than what I paid for it. But, um, yeah. So I can't even tell you what those two cost because I don't have them on my list uh, at all. And this one looks like a necklace. Yeah, I didn't order any of this. This has got to be just some bonus stuff that they throw in because this is a really nice necklace, stainless steel necklace. It's at least a 20 inch. And then this looks like an angel. It could be a, a doll, but it looks like an angel. So let me get this clasped and I'll hold it up for you. Isn't that pretty? It's got a heart at the top, stainless steel chain. So I'm gonna have to look that up. And on the back of it, it, you can tell it's just a little stone glued into the frame. But um, yeah, that's real pretty. It looks like stainless steel. Now there is something on there that's in writing in that skirt. I can't read that. But I did get a magnifying glass because I, I do coins and I watch the coin collectors and tell you what the values of coins are. And um, so I did order a magnifying glass. I showed it to y'all when it came in. It's really pretty. So. Now this little necklace seems like it's the same one, but it looks like a Halloween girl and I would not order one because I try to stay away from anything that looks scary and stuff or gothic or witches or... Now this, I don't know, kind of looks like a fairy, but it has a heart on it. I don't know why they don't put these on there. The chain obviously don't come with the necklace. Or they wouldn't just be adding one in here. It would be on the Dior. Let me get this on here and I'll show you. The little gothic girl or angel or whatever. And y'all tell me if she's gothic or she just got on dark clothing for angels. I like an angel, right? <laughs> a dark angel. But yeah, this one's made just like this other one. And the best I know, I hadn't even run across these on Timu, so I, I did not see them. But um, yeah, anything that you get that's supposed to be 925 stainless steel, take it out the bag, leave it out on the counter a day or two or overnight. You'll see if it tarnishes or not. It don't have to be on your finger to do that. 
Oh, and this is a little kitty. Let's see. Size 8. I can wear that on my first finger here. No, nope, a little bit big, but I can on that one. Look at that. A little cat. Isn't that cute? With some little diamonds on each side. I don't know how clear that is when I hold it up close, but that's really cute. <laughs> little kitty cat. And the band is silver all the way around. So, if it's not stainless steel, it still might not tarnish. So I've got I've got some that I've been wearing that doesn't say stainless steel, but it hadn't tarnished. So, okay, so I'm gonna put that ring back on. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was seven items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven items. I'm going to put those right back in here. Then we'll open this other packet. I can't wait to get that security camera going and I can see who's outside at night. You know, even if somebody's at your front door, you can pull your phone up and you can see who's out there knocking. Um, I have a kitchen window right here that looks right on my front porch, so... Anytime anybody knocks on my front door, if I don't know who it is, I definitely will come in here and look out the window. And most of the time they don't see me because they're looking at the door. They're not looking at the window. But sometimes they do. I guess sometimes it just catches their eye in the peripheral vision. There's something in here folded at the top so i don't know if this is i'm trying not to cut anything oh my wig i got a wig <laughs> now let's see a wiglet yeah this is the seven items i got a, a rotary hook um to hang my cup towels on on the sink because my mother had one when i was a kid and we always would just hang the wash rags up and they'd be hanging over the sink if they drip dried our cup towels hanging up that this is what my mother used and then um it's an antler antenna necklace holder and that was only a dollar 48 and then my wiglet and then i got uh and it's not in here a evvo extra virgin olive oil sprayer and um, that's not in here, so that'll probably come later. And uh, I ordered some of those resealable uh, plat lids that stretches over, uh, silicone lids. And uh, then I got some eyes. So let's see. Here's my wig. Now I don't know if this has, oh, it's like a scrunchie. So. I ordered this color right here because I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know what my hair color is. So if I'm just using a scrunchie and my hair's up in a bun, <laughs> who's gonna know, right? So yeah, I mean, it's kind of short, but <laughs> gonna look like you, you at least fixed your hair, right? So yeah, you can just fluff this up and work it so your bun looks good so i'll put my bun up on top of my head just so that i could put this on when i open it because i could kind of feel it through the bag before i opened it so i was hoping that's what i was feeling so okay it's just like a scrunchie. So let's go for it. <laughs> it 
So, see, all I have to do is like put a little bow in it. Throw on some makeup. What do you think? Does it match good enough or not? I can't see it as good as y'all can, but I say it looks pretty good. Yeah. You know, this reminds me of the wiglets. Remember the wiglets like this in the 70s that um, they sold? I even feel like I fixed my hair. Isn't that pretty? I forgot to tell y'all, y'all see the little face and the eyes and the little coffee. Somebody asked me why I took that NARC stuff down because I knew this was coming. I thought it was in the bag the other day and it wasn't, but <coughs> it's a little happy dude. Got his little eyes, little nose, little mouth with his tongue. He got his cappuccino. So in the mornings when I make my cappuccino right here, I just turn around and say, cheers. So, uh, yeah, so... Okay, I'm loving that. What do y'all think? Y'all go down there in my comments and tell me if this looks good or not. I even ordered another one, but it's a different color. I think it's more of a, a, a golden a brown instead of a blonde, but yeah. So, looks like I just went to the beauty shop. I like that. <laughs> when I get off here, I'm gonna go look in the mirror. But yeah, I'll see what else is in here. Oh man, these are the earrings I got. I love these. These are so pretty. I'm hoping that uh, these don't tarnish. But the earring part is gold. So what I'm going to do when I take it out of the bag, I'm just going to hit it with some clear fingernail polish. Really thin coat so that it don't make my ears itch. But let me show you. These are pretty. Let me take them out for you. Isn't that pretty? But the, the earring part is gold. And uh, usually costume jewelry that is gold makes my ears itch. And usually I don't have to wear them very long to get them to start itching. But anyway, these two neck, I mean, these two earrings right here, I'm excited about wearing them. Can you imagine them hanging right there? Okay. So, yeah, I mean, um, I'm going to put them back in here and hit them with some fingernail polish because I really love these. And, um,. It doesn't even have these in the bag. I mean, this is not even on that list either. So I can't tell you how much those cost. Now this is another ring similar to this one, but instead of having the leaf on the side, it has little circles. And then I got this one, size seven. This one's a size eight. So this one goes on my ring finger. trying to find an opening to these little bags. Okay. Hey, look at that. It looks just like the one I got on the finger there, but that pretty. So it's a seven, so let me take that little band off. Now this band is made out of titanium and it did not tarnish. Get a look at it. I like that ring. It's real comfortable. Now this says it's a seven, but obviously that's too big for a seven. So it fits me more like a nine or something. 
Let me see if it's the same size as this one. Oh yeah, it's the same size as this one, so it's got to be an eight. So the bu the bag says seven, but this is definitely an eight. And yeah, I mean I like it though. Let's see if it'll fit my other finger. Okay, now I'm three rings up. Okay, I'm gonna save that one. Put the ring back in it. But if it's anything like this one, it won't tarnish. So I'm expecting this one to do good because this one did. It just depends. Okay. So these are some more earrings and they are um, stainless steel. And they kind of have a Southwest style. But don't you just love those? Southwest, those are pretty. Let's get them out of the bag and look at them. And a while ago when I went outside, I went to, um, to the dentist and to the store. My dad said 109 outside. Ooh, it's hot out there. Now these are kind of strange the way they look, but they're real pretty. I just love those. Those will remind me of some earrings that you'd see down at the stockyards, you know? It kind of matches my shirt I got on. But uh, yeah, now these are stainless steel all the way to the deals and so far, I ain't had no problem with those. So I really like those. So that's two pair of earrings. Oh, and these are also kind of a southwestern style. You know, but they're turquoise. And they are silver. Hang on a second. I don't know why, but every time I come in here with these lights, I get hot. But I don't think these lights get hot. No, they're LED lights, so they don't. I think I'm just having a hot flash. But let's open these and see. Those pretty. I need to get out my cowboy boots. Well, I like those. Those are real pretty. And then the back of them, you can see the stones just kind of glued into the frame. So yeah. And since I didn't have these on my order that I wrote down. can't tell you how much it costs but I'm gonna try whenever I load the video I could put the price on the video so I love those so yeah I got three pair of hanging down earrings and this order was um, nine dollars and thirty six cents according to uh, Timu but since everything that's in it is not what it, they said, I don't know if the price is what they said or not. I mean, oh, I had one more thing in here. I ordered another one of these because I had what a blue one, and I love that blue one so much. And I slept in it for two days, it never did turn at all. So, um, so 
So I just, since I knew for sure it wasn't gonna tarnish, and it's such a beautiful necklace, and you can get it in uh, like a clear, uh, zirconic, clear diamond looking. You can get it in blue, and you can get it in purple. Now, that's the only ones I remember is purple, blue, red, and clear. Now, I didn't order a clear one, but I did order the ruby one or the blue one. That's what I had on the other day, the blue one, not the ruby one. But, um, yeah, I just love this necklace. Let me get the chain fixed. I'll hold it up where you can see it. Isn't that pretty? It's got that little ribbon at the top. Look at it, it's got the depth on the necklace. Makes it look like it's real expensive. Look at that purple. Like I said, you can get this in blue, like a, uh, a deep water blue. Purple, red, and white, the clear. So yeah, I'm loving that. So yeah, and I can't wait to get my jewelry box. I ordered a jewelry box that has places for necklaces and rings because I gotta have somewhere to put my new jewelry and stuff. So, yeah. So I did, I reordered some stuff that I knew wouldn't tarnish. And I know I wore it for a week. And like I told you, I've had this ring on ever since I bought it. And it has not tarnished at all. I've had this ring on almost since I bought it. It ain't tarnished at all. And it's cobalt, uh, cobalt titanium. And this is just uh, 925 stainless steel. But yeah, uh, these two rings right here, I mean, I've been wearing this butterfly ring too. I wore it for two days and it did not tarnish. So that's good. Okay, so that is everything that I got in the mail today. Um, Y'all don't forget to go down there in the comments and tell me how you like my new hair. And, um, yeah. So I'm excited. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I got another one right there. There's my purple one. That's just like the blue one. I mean the, um, didn't I just show you one that wasn't, Yeah. Okay, so I ordered two purples. Well, they just threw one in, but if I ordered two, it's because I'm planning on giving one away. So, I'm not gonna give any of this away until I confirm it's not gonna turn. So, uh, yeah, if you know that it's not gonna turn and you've already tested it, these things are gonna make great Christmas presents. They're gonna make great, just great presents. So, um, yeah, so um, if y'all hadn't tried Timu, I would tell you um, as one through five, I would give Timu a five and I'd give most of their products a four or five. And I only have two things and they're both jewelry that um, tarnished. And um, they were real cheap, less than a dollar. So. If, if, if I'd have known it that they were going to, then I'd just put some clear polish on them. So if I decide to replace them when they come, I'm just going to whoop it on some uh, polish, uh, clear polish, and it will keep it from turning. So anyway, yeah, so I just had a real great day. Um, let me explain to you what's going on at the dentist because y'all know, y'all been watching. Uh, I went in January and I just you know, uh, one dentist won't touch me because I take blood thinners. Another dentist said he didn't care and that he could do it. And so I went to him and then um, there was a insurance dis, dis, uh, an insurance waiting thing. They had to get it cleared through my Medicare. 
and it took a couple months and when it got cleared I went back in and then they decided that um, <coughs> I don't know what they decided but I went today and I I told him I was on wharf and, and he's like oh and he had already numbed up my mouth and and uh, stuck needles in my mouth and I was all numbed up today and and I was like, well, don't forget I'm on wharf and remember. And I was like, I didn't know that. I was like, yeah, you did. I told you in January when I was here. And then I told you again in March when I was here. And uh, I'm telling you now. I said, I've been on it for a long time. And I tell everybody. Standard procedure, SOP. And he goes, oh, I can't do it if you're on blood thinners. I said, well, last time I was here, I asked you. And you said that wasn't a problem. He goes, no, I, wouldn't, I didn't say that. I go, yeah, you did, or I wouldn't be here today. And so he's like, well, I got to get a, a clearance from your doctor. Who's your doctor? So I told him. They called the doctor. And the doctor told him, oh, no. <laughs> she can't be on blood thinners and have teeth, have her teeth cleaned if it's going to bleed. There's a risk involved. So he said he couldn't do it today. That he's gonna have to reschedule. So with a numb mouth and swollen and numb and uh, feels like it's swollen because the numbing just makes you feel swollen. And I'm trying to make sure I don't bite my tongue. And so I hadn't eaten breakfast. I mean, I did. I ate like at four o'clock in the morning, and it was like after twelve noon. And I was starting to get hungry, and I was expecting to get to leave there and go eat. So I had to come straight home with all the numbing stuff and he wanted to fill a cavity that I had and I was like, I didn't even know I had a cavity. I said, you ain't even talked to me about a cavity and are you going to just jump in my mouth and fix it? Oh yeah, because Medicare will pay for it. And I'm like, no, you're not going to. You didn't say anything about I got a cavity. You didn't even tell me what tooth it's in or nothing and no, if you're going to wait on the cleaning, you can wait on the filling. And so he's like, well, okay. He's like, he didn't want to, but I was like, why should I let you do a filling if you're not going to clean my teeth and put me all in that restraint like that? And so, um, yeah, so he just rescheduled it. So I've got to get my chip tooth fixed. He said, next time I come, when I get my teeth clean, um, he'll have to um, uh, do a measurement or, or a filler or something in on my chip tooth before they put the cap on it So that sounds like that might be a couple of visits too So he's going to call me in a couple of days and give me the new schedule so that I can get my teeth cleaned and um, I can be off my warfin for three days So I'm going to be drinking plenty of water because one thing I know my heart will not AFib if I'm plenty hydrated because a lot of times when it starts to AFib, I can feel it in my chest or I can feel it in my throat when it beats. And I'll just go get a big glass of water and before I drink the whole glass of water, it'll stop. And I learned that on the internet. A lot of times AFib will be caused from dehydration more than just your health. So mine has always been able to stop with water so, um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a lot of that. So, fingers crossed. And um, y'all go down in the comments and tell me what y'all think about this Timu and what cheap stuff from China it is. But, yeah, if y'all order any of it, tell me what your favorite thing is. Because I tell you, I keep this notebook by my bed. And um, in the middle of the night, when I wake up and I can't sleep, I prop my pillow up on my bed and turn on the lights and open up Timu or YouTube or whatever I'm interested in. And I'll just write down some stuff that I see on these Timu um, uh, haul videos. And I'll write down what I see that I might want. So I'm not just going to be ordering a lot of BS stuff that I don't need. It's like, you know, I'm going to use this security camera. Absolutely. And I read a lot of reviews about it. And I'm going to be using this because I got to stay hydrated. So, uh, yeah, it's just not a bunch of stuff from China that I don't need. But, um, 
Yeah, I'm anxious to get my little jewelry holders and my necklace holders, and I've already got one. That one, it looks like buttons on a, on a little line, and I'm gonna try to find a spot to put that today. I was gonna put it by my bed so I could just look at them while I'm sitting on my bed and pick one, but it if I drop it, it'll drop down behind um, a table that's not easy to move and it might be hard for me to get the necklaces out from behind that table. So I don't know if I'm going to um, put them there or put them somewhere else, but I do have one of those little button um, clear uh, things for necklaces. So today's Wednesday and like I said because I wasn't feeling good I didn't go penny shopping this week and I do you know I missed out on a lot of candy and um, I was so sick and felt so bad uh, with my blood pressure being up and my headache I didn't even post a penny list on Sunday and I had it it was like Monday before I even thought about it, that I made it and then I didn't even I mean I made the visuals and stuff that goes with it and I, I forgot. So, um, yeah, so I just messed up all the way around this week because of my migraine headache. But it was a sinusitis headache, and I hadn't had one of those in years because I always take my Zyzels on a regular basis. But somehow, through the last couple of weeks with my um, high blood pressure and the things I was dealing with, I hadn't been taking my sinus pills. And by the time it kicked in that I needed it, it had set in that bad sinusitis headache and it wouldn't drain. Um, man, I, I, oh God, that's miserable. When your head's hurting with the sinus headache, aspirins don't work, ibuprofens don't work. Sometimes you just have to just take them every day until it works. And my doctors told me that. I said, man, I take allergy medicine, I'll still have a headache. So we got to take it every day until it's gone. I was like, okay. That's a lesson I learned. So anyway, 45 minutes and jewelry and, and fun stuff to look at. Miss Peggy is um, talking y'all's ear off because that's what I do. But anyway, adios from North Texas. And goodbye from Cowtown. And I love y'all. And don't forget to please, I know y'all do shop at Timu. Tell me what your favorite stuff is and what y'all would recommend that I don't want to live without because I love Chimu and I'm getting spoiled to it, but I do more browsing than I do anything and I'll throw stuff in my cart just because I can. And then when I get ready to actually purchase something and I go back in my cart and I throw stuff out of my basket, <laughs> it's like... No, I don't know what I was thinking. I put $15, something $15 in there. I don't know what I was thinking. Get that out of there. And so you can remove stuff out of your cart just as easy as you could put it in there. So, yeah. So, um, I'm having a lot of fun with that. So, it's, you know, I like to window shop. So, just getting on there and going through those categories and window shopping. And I'll tell you one thing I saw early, early this morning when I was watching Before Daylight somebody got a belt and I'll tell you I need a belt I don't have a belt that fits me my belt hangs this long after I buckle it because I've lost so much weight since I bought a belt but uh, yeah I'm thinking about buying a belt so I'm gonna go in there and look at their belts and stuff and I'll tell you what I've seen a lot of guy hauls so if you're a guy and you're watching my videos you go on Timu because Timu has stuff for men they got yard tools, garden tools, they got men's clothes, they got men's shoes, men's coats. If it's if it's there for a woman, it's there for a man. You can get colognes, you can get um, jewelry, uh, hair products. Uh, there is so many things that you can get at Timu that I hadn't even got a chance to even look at as far as categories. Um, you know, I've got a couple of purses coming in the mail that I've already bought, but I'm pretty sure my purses that I picked out was less than $5. And to be able to buy a leather purse for under $10, that's good. I mean, they got some PU leathers, but they got some genuine leather purses too. And I did. I picked me out a couple of genuine leather purses, but I like small purses. I'm not a big purse person. 
And I'll tell you, I got that pink purse I've been carrying uh, penny shopping with me. I'm pretty sure I've had that purse over five years. And I usually just carry a purse till it just falls apart or just looks like shh. And then I get a new one. But uh, yeah, I have ordered a couple of purses. So uh, we got some, some stuff to look at and stuff to judge and see if it's good or not. So adios from North Texas. And goodbye from Cowtown. And y'all tell me if you like my new hair. <laughs> Bye now.